All right, what's up guys? This is Lucas here. Today I have an unboxing from Moyu. Uh, I have two 2x2s and a 4x4. Uh, these cubes came in different packages, but I combined them all into one. So we're gonna have a big unboxing here. Um, sorry about the lack of uploads recently. I've been pretty busy, but uh, I am excited to get this unboxing underway. So we will go chronologically uh, in terms of how the cubes were released. So I believe that means we'll start with the TSM, Zinghen TSM. Uh, now this cube is pretty unique because it is, or it changes size. Uh, I don't think any other cube really has had that feature before. So uh, yeah, should be pretty cool. Okay, so here is Martin and here is the designer, Guoguan. And here's the cube. Okay, I know the previous Zinghen 2x2 was very popular. Uh, personally, I did not like it too much. Uh, I thought it, you know, was a high-performing cube, but it did not suit my style at all. So hopefully this one uh, performs a little better for me. So first turns. Oh, nice. Okay, the magnets are pretty strong, which is something I generally don't prefer but the feeling is a lot more like a modern 2x2. Okay, it's, it's very smooth, just like its predecessor. Uh, small cuts are pretty effortless, which is nice, but the big problem I had with the previous Zinghen was the catching, just when you're casually solving. I think there's a little bit of that here, but I think the magnets, the stronger magnets are there to uh, mitigate that issue. I'm pretty sure we're all interested in the size change of this puzzle. Uh, let's take a look at that. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but I will give it a go. Okay, so I just consulted a video by Moyu on how to adjust the size of this puzzle. So essentially, you use these three arms uh, to surround a corner piece, and you apply a lot of pressure on the side to get a firm grip, and then you pull the cap off, like so. Uh, it does take quite a bit of force. Uh, and then I believe you just twist this, a white piece right here to the size you desire. I believe there are three settings. Um, I think it comes on the lowest, but let, let's just try it on the highest and see how it is. Okay, that's so weird. Uh, this cube, I adjusted this corner to the highest setting uh, and obviously it is protruding and that's really weird. Let me give it a try for all the corners. All right, not gonna lie, that was a pretty forceful process, but here is the cube in expanded form. Uh, just make sure you don't clip the stickers and you know, everything should go smoothly. It takes about five minutes and that's mostly just getting used to the tool. But here's the cube, yeah. It performs almost identically to how it was before. I do notice a little bit more instability possibly. I think that's due to the physics of the uh, dimension changes. Basically you're just like turning farther away from the core but otherwise yeah the cube is pretty much the same. I think it, it just comes down to do you prefer a larger cube or a smaller cube? Uh, let's do a solve. Yeah, not bad, not bad. To be honest, the cube doesn't even seem like it needs a lubricant. Uh, it performs very well out of the box. Uh, there might be some in there already, but I think this cube is gonna be a top performer right out of the box. But yeah, that's the Zinghen TSM. Pretty cool cube. Okay, next we have the RS2M. 
I believe this released shortly after the R3M 2020, which is one of the best 3x3s in history in terms of value and performance even. It's a really good cube, so hopes are high for this puzzle. Uh, not really sure how it compares, but we'll see. Here's the cube. It has frosted plastic and it is stickerless, so very different from the uh, Zinghen TSM. It also feels pretty heavy. Uh, yeah, it's quite heavy. Um, that's interesting. There seems to be more lubricant inside as well. I can kind of feel it on the exterior. Um, and also the shades are the new Moyu stickerless shades. So let's get into first turns. Wow, that's almost uncontrollable. <laughs> that's so fast. Okay, so I am definitely struggling to control this cube, and I think there is one major reason for that. So the magnets in this cube are pretty strong, and so it requires a lot of force to turn. But turning, at least for this mechanism, it seems like it's naturally pretty effortless so i think that that disparity is what is causing some control issues but the cube turns well i'm not really sure how i would get used to this but again it's a budget cube uh, and it performs well i think the major advantage to this is that it's magnetic. It also feels more substantial than the Meilong 2x2 uh, magnetic version. Um, so I think really it comes down to personal preference. Do you mind a heavier cube but it might be a little more heavy duty? Or do you want to go for the um, lighter option, um, the Meilong? But yeah, I this this cube it performs fine but i i don't think it'll be used for competitive speed solving because of because of its control issues like for some reason i'm just really struggling to control this right now but nevertheless it turns great and i think that's the number one goal of a budget cube all right, and here's the final cube. This is the RS4M. All right, what I notice about this cube is that there are literally massive holes at every uh, intersection point. Uh, you can see right here, like this reminds me of a Diane MF8 uh, version two or version three. Not sure if you guys remember that cube, but it had holes in literally every single uh, possible opening. Uh, that's something you don't typically see today. Usually they're, the holes are larger um, on the outside and then in the inside, they're typically a little bit smaller. But yeah, let, we'll, we'll see how it turns. Oh, nice. Okay. Huh. I actually like the turning on this quite a bit. This 4x4 is pretty flexible compared to uh, the other budget models. Usually the Budget models are pretty rigid, but this one, it seems, you know, quite flexible. I'm not sure if that'll result in more lockups, but I think it allows the cube to be uh, a little more adaptable. Uh, you can adapt it to more turning styles. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoy the turning of this, and it doesn't seem to be locking up. Yeah, that's really good. 
I'm not sure how my times would fare on it. Uh, the solve I did was fine. Um, but at the very least, this cube is unique uh, in terms of both mechanism and uh, the flexible feeling. You know what? It really reminds me of a Waisu. I believe that was Moyu's first 4x4, and the Aosu was the next version, and it was a little more uh, compact and stable. But this one, yeah, it's it's still it's still stable because of the magnets, obviously, but it's a little more freeform, and I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, nice cube, nice cube. Okay, so thank you to Moyu for sending these three puzzles out to me. Uh, we have the Zinghen TSM, the RS2M, and the RS4M. All of these puzzles perform pretty well, and they have a lot of unique features to them, so definitely give them a try. But otherwise, thank you to Moyu again for sending these puzzles out to me. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys are interested in purchasing these cubes, I will leave links in the description. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.